Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Pearsa. I was so inspired by so many posts for holiday glitter, glam, and I knew I could create all this with drugstore makeup. I give you guys ideas of other makeup that you could order online that is cheap and very, very great quality. So with that being said, I just want to stick strictly to makeup that we could all afford because we all have been there when we're actually broke, especially during the holidays when you cannot afford a new freaking palette. I'm gonna list all the products down below as well as any other information I have and make sure you look in the description box because I always have important things to tell you guys down there because I am so freaking incredible and I hope you guys really do enjoy this video this is I think like my second try on doing a makeup tutorial and I, I, I hope it comes out good because I am blind I gotta try also don't forget to follow my social media especially Instagram and Snapchat I update you guys on the daily so my name will be up her or down here on the links down below as well as all the information I have for you guys listed down below and I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos of this chick right here. What it do? Okay, right here you can use any kind of concealer just to start prepping the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. These are the BS Mall brushes. I'll list the link down below where you could get these cheap, affordable brushes that are very great quality and they are actually duped for Sigma brushes. Now I'm just going to set my eyes. First I'm going to go ahead and blend this gray color out. You can use any kind of gray color. All you have to do is blend it out and keep packing it on depending how much depth you want to add to your eyes. Next, taking this shade from Wet n Wild, I'm going to go ahead and just focus my eyeshadow right in the corner of my eye. These brushes I actually got at Marshalls or Ross. They're actually Hello Kitty. I could link them down below if you're interested. And all you want to do is pack this shadow as much as you can you can use any kind of black shade but be careful you don't want to do too much black all at once and right here you're just looking at me packing it more on i'm just taking this brush and start blending out the edges this takes some time and right here you can see how it looks blended. It looks like very granite kind of look. It looks pretty awesome. And I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye, obviously. Okay, now I'm taking a fluffy brush and blending all that in. I didn't take a fluffy brush in the beginning because I don't want to like overdo this shadow. Okay, I'm gonna use this side right here and you're gonna let it get a little bit of tackiness and then I'm going to go ahead and pack this on all over my eyelid. Then taking this e.l.f. brush, you could get these online and you, I didn't put any product on the brush. It just like picks up the glitter by itself. And you're gonna have a lot of fallout. That's why you don't wanna start with your foundation first. And right here, you could see that I packed on a lot of glitter and that's what you want. You want to be shiny and glowing. 
to swipe off that glitter and go back with that darker shade from the Wet n Wild palette and start packing it even more. This all depends on how dark you want your shadow. You could also put tape to make it more dramatic. And I'm just going back with my brushes and blending everything together. Next, I'm going to draw my eyeliner on. Again, this will depend on how dramatic you want your liner to go. Next, I want to put these Cara lashes and then put mascara on. And this is how it looks so far. I didn't do this on, on camera because I suck. Then I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna just prime, use this primer for the inner part of my face. And then this Nivea Man Balm all over my face. This thing is so good. Trust me on that. I'm gonna just put this all over my face and let it get tacky as I like tap my hands all over my face. Okay, then I'm gonna correct those under circles cause I need this bad. And I'm gonna go very heavy on this because I want it to cover it very, very, very good. And I'm gonna tap this away and then blend it all in with this Real Techniques brush. And I'm using this foundation brush with another Sigma dupe from BS Mall brush. Then I'm gonna just go ahead and buff it out with another brush from the same line. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and wax them with this Wet n Wild wax pencil. And I'm gonna line them up and then shade them in. I'll do a separate video on how, to, how I use this with cream and powders. Right here I'm just cleaning up the mess and blending the concealer out. And then I'm blending out all the concealer with the foundation brush that I used previously. And I'm going to lock it up with some Maybelline gel. I'm going to conceal. Girls, you need to try this. If you are a light skin, use porcelain if you want that big highlight that you're trying to achieve for the holidays. And porcelain, it is so good. I love it. I'm going to take that same Real Techniques brush that we used to correct our skin. And we're going to go ahead and tap this out. You, I used a crap load. I just love how it looks so highlighted and so clean. And I'm going to take another BS Maw brush and just tap this. I'm also going to bake with, obviously, everyone knows how to do this air spawn thing. Okay, then I'm going to use this cover girl and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin with this Real Techniques brush. And getting the kit from LA Colors, I'm going to use that shade with this e.l.f. blending brush and start doing my contour. So I just line up my contour line and then start blending it in with my bronzer. Then I start getting off the setting powder that I did to highlight. And right here you could see that I ended up baking that contour as well. I just didn't film it. Then I'm going to contour my nose using this flower contour brush. This is my favorite contour nose brush. And you could get these at Walmart. Then I'm gonna go back with that gray shade that I used to use my transition color with this Rite Aid pen or brush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out on my under eye. Then I'm gonna line my eyes. And then very, very carefully, I am going to set that under eye liner with that color from Wet n Wild using that same Rite Aid brush. Then of course, mascara for your bottom lashes. And I'm gonna use this Milani Luminoso. I didn't wanna go all out on this blush and I like this one because it really glows up your skin within. So it's pretty badass, just saying. 
and I'm gonna just highlight the hell out of my like highlight spots. I'm gonna use this Physicians Formula in Natural and then this Hard Candy in Tiki. I like that nose and I'm gonna take off my baking powder all the rest where I have it and blend everything in together and then I'm gonna take this wet and wild single eyeshadow these are like under a dollar and I'm gonna just go ahead and highlight the high bones of my eyebrows yeah. and this brush right here was a dollar at Marshall's I'm gonna line my lips I wanted to go very very natural because I wanted all the attention to my eyes but you could definitely do reds and whatever you want because, you know, it's Christmas, no one cares. And going on with this Milani lipstick, this thing smells amazing. And this Maybelline lip gloss, dude, I need to try the rest of these lip glosses. These are so incredible. Then I'm going to highlight my Cupid's bow using the Positions Formula highlighter. Set your face and we are all done. I look good.